Well, I've asked you on mic, so it's only rude not to ask you on mic. How are you settling in both at the football club and um, the, the city of Bristol in general? Yeah, I've settled in well. Um, uh, we've played uh, three games, been undefeated, so it's been a great start. Uh, the city, it's fine, you know, um, living in club digs, so everyone's good. Yeah. Um, what's impressed you about Bristol Rovers so far? I guess the first question has to be about Matty Taylor, who um, is scoring goals for fun at the moment. Yeah, he's a, he's a golden touch. He kind of reminds me of Robbie Keane. He seems to be in the right place at the right time, and always seems to get the goals. But uh, I think, it's, you know, I was told on the way down that it was, uh, it was a big club and, you know, I couldn't really believe it when I signed that, uh, you know, how, how big it was and the fans have been, uh, have been great in two games. Mm. I know Matty liked it. I bet, I bet he'd swap at least one of his um, goals and give it to you if he could. Um, you, and you've made a really good impression on the Rovers fans, but like any striker, next job's to get a goal. Yeah, of course. Um, you know, I got one against Exeter, but it was ruled for offside, so... Thought that would have been thought that was, that was uh, that was the goal and that would have been great. But I think as long as we keep winning and you know the game the game or the team keeps doing well, I don't really mind. Yeah, and there's competition for places. Jermaine coming off the bench last week and scoring with his first touch. Yeah, yeah, he he, he made a great uh, great impact the last day and Els as well. He's he's always there. You know, he's good for a goal as well. So yeah, there's plenty of competition. Yep, yeah, um, it's Dagenham on Saturday. Um, you can tell me if you faced them this season or not with Cambridge. No, I haven't. No, okay. Um, you're facing a side. I haven't won at home this season. I mean. It's just supposed to be a dangerous animal, doesn't it? You've kind of got nothing to um, gain, everything to lose there this weekend. Yeah, I was supposed to say with York last week. I think someone said they had one in seven or eight, and you know they, they were one up for for a long time. So we, you know, it's going to be the same this weekend. Just we go and do our job. We should be fine. Yeah, and Jamie Curriton, a fellow striker for the opposition, forty years young. Um, would you like to still be playing at that age? Uh, I think I'll be finished long before then. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, and just Christmas coming up as well. What's it like for a lone player spending Christmas, you know, obviously on the, not only having to play football, but at a lone club as well? Is it a stra strange experience? Well, I suppose it's my first time being in, being in England for the Christmas period, so it's going to be a new experience. But I'll be fine, you know, we've been kept busy with training and games, so I won't, really, I won't feel a passing. Yeah, and any, I'll take it, was it a month's loan spell initially? Are you just going to get the month out of the way first and then take it from there? Yeah, well, it's still the 3rd of January, so it's, mm. you know, it's out of my hands after that. 